try to cut the lead down. Um, I think we did that. And from that point, I feel like we had the momentum. Uh, we just kept chipping away. Uh, just kept getting stops, kept making making shots on the other end um, and making plays. I mean, you know, Spence, another big game, uh, D-Lo AR, you know, um, just making big time plays. and. We're not <clears throat> a 20 point lead in this league now is just nothing because um, of the way the offense is right now in the league. Uh, so high powered that you can wipe the league away pretty fast. So, um, you know, we just try to use the five or six first five or six minutes to just try to cut the lead down and then take it from there. You were involved in a couple of big defensive plays down the stretch, the breaking up the lob to Giannis and the, <clears throat> the block on um, Dame. Um, you just walk me through, in particular the block on Dame. Just at, what was the read there? Did you expect him to put it on the floor, and uh, did you know it was clean? Um, free in the game, defensive instincts. Um, you know, I saw he had a step. Uh, I think it was on AR, and I just spread it. Uh, I didn't think they were going to call goaltending. I mean, once I blocked it uh, and I got the rebound, I saw him, like, screaming, like, hey, like, goaltend, whatever. So I, I, and I couldn't, you can't hear, hear uh, what exactly they call. So I just threw the ball the other end, obviously. But the whistle blew, but it was a timeout for us. So, um, yeah, I just tried to make a read, uh, you know, using my defensive instincts. Uh, neither team scored the, the first, I think, three minutes of the second overtime. It looked like both sides were just visibly gassed. At that mm -hmm. point, how mental is the game, and what does it say about you guys that you're able to kind of figure things out over the final two minutes? Yeah, uh, you know, when you're playing a game like that, high pace, high level basketball, uh, both teams got some great looks and missed. I mean, to start the second overtime, uh, some really wide open looks, and we just missed them. Um, you know, for us, we just tried to slow the game down a little bit and get some quality shots. Uh, we were able to do that. So, uh, your guys are going to be gassed when you go to two overtimes. Um, 58 minute game. So, I say it was fun. Um, yeah, we line up and do it all again tomorrow. Given the circumstances, was this as good a win as y'all have had all season? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, it was a good win to start the road trip for sure. Uh, you know, especially going to a back to back. So, um, you know, the first game and the last game is always usually like the toughest. Um, because of the one of the time difference to start and then the end of the road trip, <clears throat> you know, guys like, oh, we're trying to get home, be on the road for 10 days. So uh, it was a good win in that regard. Um, like I said, we do it all, all again tomorrow and then uh, get, a, get some rest. You were, you were missing some shots that you usually hit the first couple quarters. You hit three threes from the fourth quarter on. It, what was it like to just kind of turn that around in those moments and, and what's your kind of you know, your level of trust in the shot at, at that point when it's not your night? Yeah, I mean, I'm very confident in my game. Uh, just keep shooting. Um, you know, I know none of the shots that I, that I took uh, felt weird. You know, they all felt good, just missed them. So I just kept kept shooting. Um, even in the time in the third, uh, some of those shots felt weird for sure, but uh, the confidence that my teammates instilled in me, uh, especially D'Lo uh, and our assistant coach, uh, Damari, um, just tell me to keep shooting all the time, shoot the ball. So uh, 